Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so today is our video about uh, uh, how to analyze the data uh, using one-way ANOVA in SPSS. In last video, we analyzed the data using Excel, and this uh, video is about the how to analyze the data using SPSS. So uh, we have here the data that is the scores of three uh, different uh, samples and each sample have 10 uh, observations that is the marks obtained by three uh, by 10 students. So uh, this is very important uh, topic about the research. But uh, first, uh, starting the analysis on uh, each species, this is very important uh, to keep in mind that how you will uh, enter your data in species uh, for analysis of one-way ANOVA. Generally, uh, during the classes, most of the students learn uh, the data in this shape. Now look at here, uh, here we have, uh, these are the samples. Uh, the first is uh, the 10 students marks, which is uh, taught by uh, teacher A. The second sample is that have 10 uh, observation, that is the scores of student which is taught by teacher B. And uh, this is the third sample of 10 observations that is uh, taught by teacher C. So generally in uh, classrooms uh, are when the teacher is taught to the student, so generally the data is in this shape. So uh, how, but in species uh, you can't enter the data in the same manner. So you have to arrange, you have to enter the data uh, 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 for one way ANOVA uh, in species so a little bit different of that. So it can be uh, analyzed using species. So now what we need to do with this data you come to a species and now look at here. This is the teacher A. Uh, OK, uh, let's see variable view. So the first uh, variable is variable uh, that is uh, teachers. Teachers is a uh, teacher taught subjects. Uh, that's and here is the values. Look at the values. So this is one is a uh, value one for teacher A, value two for uh, teacher B, and value three for uh, teacher C. So these are three teachers. The second is uh, grad scores. Uh, so this is actually the marks obtained by the students in uh, three different groups. So now look at here. Here you have three different rows. But in species, we have just a one variable here, uh, which we will enter all the variables, uh, all the observations. That is totally total thir 30 observation. So now look at here in data view. That's the teacher A and the students obtained marks. Look at here. So I enter the data in this manner. That's the teacher uh, one that's uh, the student marks okay next is the teacher two and the marks obtained by that student which is start by the teacher two and the third is uh, the marks obtained by the students and that's the teacher three so uh, this is uh, we can check here that's teacher a and that's the marks of the student teacher b and the marks of the student and teacher c are uh, the marks of the student so mostly the researcher face such a problems when they uh, learn in a manually so the data in uh, this shape so then they don't know how to analyze the data uh, so this is very important that uh, you have to enter the data in this manner now this data is uh, ready for analysis. So now the next step is we are going to analyze. That's compare means and one way ANOVA. OK, <clears throat> now uh, look at here. So this is our dependent variable. That's the score, uh, the student marks. That's uh, our uh, uh, that's our um, uh, numerical variable. So you have to shift it here to the dependent box while the teachers that's the categories a b c which we are going to compare so you have to enter it to the factor box 
Okay, uh, now uh, here is a contrast. That's uh, we uh, here is now not need because this is a very lengthy process. So we will later discuss it. And uh, we are here is just click on option. Here is descriptive statistics. Okay, and the second is uh, homogeneity of variances test. That's Brown and Forsyth uh, and Welch. Okay, and mean plots. Okay, so these are uh, just I need it and I will interpret these all results. Let's now continue and next just click OK. Okay, so now look at here. Uh, this is our analysis output that uh, is ready. So you can uh, find here that's the descriptive statistics. Uh, here we have teacher A, teacher B and teacher C. So I did a mistake here. Uh, you can see here I have uh, 10 observation, but here is 11. So anyway, uh, uh, this is the means that is 70 of the first sample. 76 is the second sample. 72 is the third sample. This is very important. That's the mean we need. And the overall mean of 30 sample is 73.1. This is the standard deviation. So look at the standard deviation. There is 20.10 for first sample, 18.08 for second sample, 12.10 for third sample, and overall it's 16.9. That is the standard error, the lower bound, upper bound. Okay, let's come towards the test of homogeneity variances. Look at here. This is 0.283. So normally look at uh, when, when the variances are here is insignificant. So what we conclude here, mm, normally we have an assumption. If I write down here, that so will be easy for you. So here is we have the first assumption. That's it's not the variances are same while each one here is we have uh, now just just make it a little bit simple H1 that's our Now this is uh, equal to the variances variances are not same. Okay, so now look at here what uh, happens that uh, uh, our p value is point uh, two at three. So uh, here just uh, look at p is equal to 0 0.283 uh, so this is greater than 0.05 so what's happened when your p value is not significant it is not significant not significant significant so what's when the it's greater than 0 0.05 so we accept h naught so if the variances is not uh, uh, different, so we consider that uh, that's the three samples are same. There is a no significant difference exists between the three samples. Uh, so this is the first thing that uh, uh, 0 0.05 is greater than uh, po that's 0 0.283 is a uh, uh, insignificant. So we accept or We accept it's not. That's the story that we accept it's not. Okay, and now what's happened in the, that's a look at uh, the ANOVA table, that's the between groups, uh, the sum of squares 201.50H. That degree of freedom is two because we have three samples, so three minus one is two. Within groups, that's inside the sample, so total is 30. 30 minus three is 27. That is three samples. But if look at 0.717, so 
so what's happened this is also support that if now i write down here that's what part or h not h not was the three groups three groups are same that's h1 is the three groups there is there is significant significant difference among three groups but what's our p value support so now look at here this is our p value that is 0.717 so p value is points 717 which is also quite greater than 0.05 so here again we accept h not that's the two the, the groups are same so we accept or we accept h not that's the same story that's support also the next is look at the robust test of equality of means now here is 0.766 and 0.710 both are uh, because of uh, both are insignificant and if we look at here so that's the teacher taught the subjects and the mean of students score taught by teacher so here we have also the same story that's the mean plots teacher a that's the teacher b and that's the teacher c so uh, if uh, i have made a uh, here is a uh, one sample that was uh, uh, unfortunately i enter here is uh, that's the sample is one missing value is exist here otherwise it will show that's the same triangle so here is a one way in a, a, a way you know uh, analysis and that is the way how we analyze the data so here is uh, we accept it's not and uh, that's there is no significant difference exists between uh, among the all three samples so i hope uh, it will uh, give some knowledge to you and it will help you in research that how analyze the data and uh, keep in mind that this is important that how you enter the data in each species for one way analysis of variance so thank you very much for watching video